one thing I've been wanting to do is to bring all this music with me on my winter voyage. Great old favorite, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rolling Stones, Beggar's Banquet, Tiki Fingers. Come on, this is like classic. One of my all-time favorite albums, Babylon by Bus. Great French band, Le Negres Vert, remixed. How's this, huh? Led Zeppelin, Jazzanova, classic Kruder and Dorfmeisters, Nina Cherry, Tom Waits. Even in France, you've got to have some Serge Gainsbourg. The guy's amazing. <laughs> Chic and now Rogers, a uh, book that's been signed by my friend Niall. As part of my winded voyage, to turn all this collection, just not that much really, into MP3s. Now, unfortunately, I can't bring all the books. I've got uh, in some little gizmos like this. Here's me playing Santa Claus. This was when I was in the desert. My signed video that I did with uh, Quincy Jones. Uh, this is the great live from Montreux book that I worked on with my uh, dear friend Perry Richardson. Dear friend Perry J Richardson, I hope you'll join me at some point. Here's some stuff that I've done with Mr. Nile Rogers, here's a picture of him playing ping pong. So no, no, not only can a guy play his guitar like a fucking amazing motherfucker, but he can play really good ping pong. Now here are some of the relics of my old life as an advertising guy. Um, won many awards or a few. Actual award, one show award from New York and I completely redid this magazine. Uh, as you can see, I've done some beautiful layouts. That's my craft, that's what I do. I'm a visual person. I um, cherished working on this, this, this magazine. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, and I did all this in two languages, French and German. Uh, it took almost like two months to do it, and I would do it, you know, a few days here, a few days here, a few days there, but it basically took two months. Ironically, I was working on a spread about India about Calcutta and I had an opportunity to go to India for really cheap so I took off for a week and my uh, editor-in-chief said that I couldn't do that and although I was working as a freelancer you know I wanted to go see these places not just read about them in magazines and look at them on the computer I did this for 3,000 Swiss francs 87 pages two languages it took about two months I did it for super cheap and then the motherfucker fired me. I'm gonna go to this island, to Ile de la Réunion. I'm gonna go on Galopin. Sweet revenge. I might bring this great old atlas with me because it's cool because it's so old. And it may be a cool thing to have on a boat. I am located here in Montreux, Switzerland, you can see, and I drive all the way down here to the very corner, and that's where Galopin is. This is where I live right now, and this is where I go down to Galopin, and then I got all this to discover until I either go out this way or out that way. This photo right here was given to me by my son, my eldest son. It's a beautiful picture. I think I might take that with me. And then I found in my old stuff this funny picture of my grandfather's union when he used to work on the steamships um, in uh, here on the lake in Switzerland. That old Grandpapa Charles, Pepe Charles, as you used to call him, is right here with all his buddies. And they used to work on these boats. It's kind of funny that I have, like, in a way, maritime blood in me from my grandfather, because he used to work on ships. But they were lake ships. Nonetheless, a ship is a ship, right? The wonderful thing about going sailing and taking on the world is that you can't take much with you. Only what you need and only what's absolutely necessary. And I may bring one or two of these cowboy hats, uh, you never know, uh, it might be useful on a boat, uh, depending where you are. I've got several of them. I'll show you the rest of the apartment and my studio where I've been working.
this I probably greatly miss in some way. But then again, you know, it's stationary and this lake has been giving me the urge to go beyond this lake. It almost looks like a sea. So yes, this I'm prepared to leave all behind. I've been living here for about 15 years, so you know, there's an end to everything. This is stationary, this doesn't move. Done the Tour du Lemon, it's time to go beyond. But I'll show you some more. kitchen which again I'm gonna be leaving behind. It's been very comfortable here, we've cooked some wonderful meals, had some wonderful family times but as I said time to go. Here's some more of my Narcisse photographs. These are actually on canvas. They're quite, uh, quite pretty. And then the other thing I want to show you is if I um, go upstairs I have a private little office where I've done a lot of work. It's in my private little editing area just upstairs. I could walk up here and just down this corridor was my private little office. So in this room here I did an immense amount of work. I edited a one hour and 45 minute uh, documentary uh, with Nile Rogers and his performance here in Montreux. So basically it was the history of dance music by Nile Rogers. It was called Nile Rogers Freak Out Dance Party. And I spent probably a good six months to a year continuously working on this documentary right here. And it's been over three years, almost going on four. And maybe someday this, this movie, this documentary will come out. The interesting thing about uh, Montreux, Switzerland, for me, is that there's always something mystical and magical about it. You playing down in Montreux, or? Yeah. Where, what's your name of your band? Chic, La Freak. Oh, really? Freak, yeah. yeah. You're Chic? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. We've got a movie, and uh, sometimes you can find some of it on my uh, other channel, Swiss Syndicate, and there's bits and pieces and little um, little promos for it. So, and as well as on my website, you can see and read all about it. This is this is basically my life. The sex shop and the rock and roll shop. It's like it goes together. It says, kids, if you practice hard, that's what you get. This was my realm of creativity here. And it was absolutely wonderful because I could be alone here, close this door, and it was just me and my computers, which I've moved. This camel skull I found in the desert while I was uh, horseback riding in Morocco. Uh, some tripods, which I'm going to probably not take with me. And uh, here's one of the photos that I took. And this is my map of India, Mumbai when I was there. And then last and but not least, Happiness is not a state to arrive at, but a method of traveling. So I'm going to go visit with my neighbor Herman, known here since I've been here, about 15 years. Uh, he's a character. He's originally from Chile. And uh, he went into exile during the Pinochet era uh, and ended up in Venezuela and worked in shipping there or something. And then uh, I think there was a change in government or politicians and he ended up having to leave Venezuela and go into exile to Switzerland. So he's been here in Switzerland for about 20 years. I born 450 meters from the sea, Pacific Sea. And I, in my spirit, I was uh, a navigator. <laughs> I like the sea, the island, everything. But now I make my work in my house. <laughs> this is my Moncuan, uh, como es que te Sase. We go together in this. We go in the sailboat. South boat. To this little island. You've been here together. 18 years, I've Eight, been here 15. Yeah. No, I know, me, me 20. Him 20? 20. You yes. 20. Now, 
And me 15. Yes. And this is Chilean flag. My special flag. And if, and if you come here, I show okay. you. The Pile Bluzancian, the Conquistadores. That's a Jamie, the commandant. Ah, hola, Jamie. Hola. Je suis né et j'ai travaillé pendant les premiers 33 ans de ma vie. J'étais toujours au bord de la mer. Pacifique, Valparaíso, Chile, San Antonio, Talcahuano. Et toi, de quel de de San Antonio. San Antonio. San Antonio, no Texas, San Antonio, San Chile. Chile. Wow. Make my place because I have not too much place in my home. I make my little collection. They are sailors, <laughs> old sailors. <laughs> I have a name very special because it's, it's, it's the same face that uh, Chino Rios, a player, a tennis player from Chile. And this is Galapagos. Tu vois, a quelques young chapeaux chilien, des guasso. Ça, c'est la famille des enfants. It's your a little special corner. It's a special corner. 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 Yeah. Yes. Y Jesús también. Hey, a la Virgen. Uh, Inmaculada Concepción. <laughs> Notre vitrine là-bas. Il y a beaucoup de trucs des îles. Hein? Uh, Barba Negra. <laughs> Barba Negra. Le beau tableau. I like that. Ah, ça c'est un escolab. Estoy con, con Alex que quiere hablar contigo. Está aquí, está conmigo aquí, está ahora, te lo voy a pasar porque quiere verte antes de irse. ¿Tú me das eso? Sí. Ah, es gentil. Thank you very much. Gracias, <laughs> souvenir, amigo, Germán. Uh, souvenir. You leave us and we are very, very touched in our heart. Wow. <laughs> you have to come and visit me on the boat. Of course. This is Freddy. Freddy is one of my patrons. Thank you very much to one of my few patrons who's been there for me and he's in one of the movies. He's gonna be in this one. I want a special thanks to Freddy, so I'm giving him hey, a picture. You're welcome. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully he'll be able to come on a boat once in a while too. Well, that's an extra 500 bucks for the galopin. It adds up. It's been years I've been doing this. So, and this is the way that I've been able to save up some money for galopin. So, it's taken years, but every little penny, every little cent, every little centime counts. Maybe the last one I ever come to this apartment. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>